Hello. Let us try to understand as to how an opto isolator works or we call it opto coupler with the LED and transistor combination. They are uh, simply uh, available in the market. Maybe the simplest one is MCT2E and uh, they are also available in different numbers. But the basic uh, configuration inside is that we have one LED and we have one transistor with this kind of pin connections and the transistor is switched on or goes into saturation switched on the pin number 6 is not used uh, normally and uh, because when the light falls on this the base emitter junction this switches that means this point goes to 0 so for logical circuits we would like to use MCT2E this is the way that we have to use now for example if the input is logic 0 that means if this is at 0 potential with respect to the ground then the output is we can see ok the CRO we can see later the output is 1 that means when this is uh, 0 this is 1 how when the light falls on this this transistor conducts uh, sorry when the light is not falling on this light is uh, not falling on this when this is 0 this LED is not glowing light is not falling once the light is not falling this transistor is not conducting so 5 volt high it delivers a logic high output here now if I make it 1 if I make it 1 the light falls on it and this transistor conducts and this and this point goes to ground so this becomes 0 so this is what the optocoupler of LED and transistor combination works you see actually this light you cannot see this light is happening inside the IC it's a very tiny IC it's a 6 pin IC very small 6 pin IC you will not be able to see this light all this happens inside the IC now if you go over to the other type we'll stop it okay well uh, the other types are and typically those are used for DC circuits and the other type are now let's see there is an AC circuit type the AC circuit type is if we can zoom still further we can see this portion only uh, no okay okay so let's uh, let's try to understand uh, this function this uh, this is one opto isolator this is another opto isolator these two opto isolators are in fact one is a non-zero opto isolator one is a zero opto isolator we'll see what is the difference between the non-zero isolator opto isolator or opto coupler and a zero crossing opto isolator moc3021 moc3020 moc30 uh, these are the series uh, particularly in the series of uh, two uh, they are non-zero that means you can trigger them anywhere in the cycle and so that you can control the power let's see how it works now if we take at the now what we have done here we have taken a um, signal which is delayed from the main signal in fact this signal which has to come it has to be in synchronization with this and delayed as per our requirement which will be coming from some logic circuits or from microcontroller wherever it is now when this comes at a delayed time now we have what we have given here this uh, uh, this signal at a delayed time of about uh, 5 milliseconds so that the light will fall after 5 milliseconds and the how the AC circuit is working we will see now now we take this CRO here and let us see now once we give that delayed pulse what happens let us see right now what we can see is that we are giving a delayed pulse we pause it and then you can see we are giving a delayed pulse from the 50 hertz so that at about 5 milliseconds delay and we get the power or we get the voltage waveform or the current waveform like this these are pulses delayed from the zero this is actually my zero from zero we have delayed this much of time that is why power is in this way so this kind of opto isolators particularly MOC 3020 series 3020 3021 all those series they are used in this fashion this is the waveform across the lamp 
this is the waveform across the lamp and this is the input signal which is coming to the opto isolator so this is what is an arrangement where we get power control by delaying the uh, the input will be the delayed pulses with respect to the zero voltage pulses which are generated separately have been explained separately now if we look into the <coughs> stop this stop hi thus the other type is the zero cross type zero cross type in this moc30 31 32 61 62 64 like that these are the zero cross type zero cross in the sense whatever time you may switch on here this load will always start from zero so it is you cannot give here delayed firing angle if you give her delayed firing angle nothing will come in the output so this sort of ICs particularly uh, the, uh, this sort of opto isolators MOC 30 um, uh, 31 30 uh, 32 30 61 63 64 these are the opto isolators are to be used uh, for zero cross detection that means for uh, it enhances the life of any uh, equipment which is used for example a lamp it will always start from uh, zero now we will see how it works now when I make it uh, one you see the full AC is uh, appearing across the this are uh, three channel three so the full AC is appearing at the at the uh, output so this is the advantage of using zero cross opto isolators for long life of the load because it will start from zero it will not start arbitrarily anywhere from the uh, supply uh, so that you get the advantage thank you